everyone. I'm Janeline Bilawan, your course instructor for Competency 1 or the review for your crop science. Our first topic for today is uh, for, the, for the Unit 1, the Agriculture and Crop Science, which includes the topics, the concept of agriculture, World and Domestic Food Situation and Production, Philippine Population, Food Supply and Agriculture, State of Philippine Agriculture, The Concept of Crop Science, Production as Science, the Crop Production as Science, Art and Business. So, Unit 1 will be Agriculture and Crop Science. So the first topic will be the concept of agriculture. Is systematic raising of useful plants and livestock under the management of the man. So plants and animals with the help of the human resource, which is the man. And purposeful work through which the elements of nature are harnessed to produce plants and animals to meet human needs. Then, broad industry engaged in the production of plants and animals for food and fiber. The provision of ag for agricultural supplies and services and the processing, marketing, and distribution of agricultural products. Next will be World and Domestic Food Situation and Production Centers. The world population is expected to increase by 2.6 billion over the next 45 years from 6.5 billion today to 9.1 billion in 2050. Much of the increase will be the, from the developing countries, which is, includes Philippines. So the population in developing countries will increase from 5.3 billion to 7.8 billion in 2050. Great pressure is being placed on the agricultural lands Hence, it is imperative to increase current levels of food production to provide an adequate supply of food to increasing production. So, moss is not suitable for agriculture of the world's total land area of 150 million kilometers squared. Arable land comprises 10% of the total. Permanent crops are 1%. Meadows and pastures is 24%. Uh, forest and woodland is 31%. The remaining 34% is land surface that supports little or no vegetations, like Antarctica, des deserts, mine sites, and urban er areas. So, rapid growth in most developing countries had greatly reduced the arable land per capita. It is estimated that by 2050, the amount of arable land will be just over one-tenth of a hectare per person, so from 0.50 hectare in 1961. So the increase of populations will, uh, the effect will be lesser arable lands to cultivate. So we have a lower arable lands in 2015. Then from 1961. So for the third, Philippine population, food supply, and agriculture. Philippines 2020 population is estimated at 109,581,078 people at mid-year according to United Nations data. So the Philippines population is equivalent to 1.41% of the total world population. 
So the Philippines ranks number 13 in the list of countries which is that and dependencies by the population. So the Philippine population is projected to reach 142 million by 2045. So 2045, this signifies about 49 million persons added to the country's population from 2010 to 2045, equivalent to an average annual growth rate of 1.21%. So from the GDP from agriculture in Philippines increased to 519,641 pesos in the fourth quarter of 2020 from 404,988 in the third quarter of 2020. So the, from the source of the National Statistics Office of the Philippines. So the increase in food supply is about 2% per year, which is just enough to keep up with the population increase. So about 20% of this increase is the result of expansion of the new production areas. Next, the remaining 80% is due to technological advances in production like improved irrigation, crop protection, better cultivars, improved crop nutrition, post harvest, handling, and others. So for the our foods and for our irrigations. So the state of Philippine agriculture. So Agriculture's and Fisheries Modernization Act, which is AFMA, or the Republic Act 8435, which is mandated the modernization of the country's agriculture sector, which is signed into law in 1998. But um, as you know, that FC or the Fisheries Code is also approved and signed in 1998. So, uh, so the AFMA or the Agriculture and Fisheries Modernization Act essentially places priority on the sustained increase in production, industrialization, and full employment. While the fishery codes in 1998, on the other hand, prioritizes management, conservation, and protection of fisheries and aquatic resources optimal utilization of existing resources and maintenance of ecological balance and the quality of the environment. So although both laws coincide in some general objectives such as achieving poverty elevation, social equity, food security, rational use of resources, people empowerment, and sustainable development, so the AFMAS distinct character is born of its additional goal of seeking global competitiveness. So these differences create a subtle tension between the two laws which can have far-reaching impacts but then uh, it focuses on the agriculture and fisheries sectors. Next is the concept of crop science. So first, what is science? Science is systematically accumulated and tested knowledge. Okay, second is plant. Plant is an any organism belonging to the kingdom plantae, typically lacking active locomotion. So, di siya kaliho. Or obvious nervous system or sensory organs and has photosynthetic ability. So, the plants and they... Um, have photosynthetic ability or activity. So, with the help of the sunlight, the water, and the carbon dioxide, it produces oxygen for the people, for the human and animals, and then um, they excrete, the animals and the, the humans excrete carbon dioxide, which helps the plants to make for us an oxygen. So it is a cycle of our ways and their ways which helps each other to have um, our food or us for us is an oxygen and for them is the carbon dioxide. 
So, the third is the crop. So, domesticated, cultivated plants grown for, for profit, it usually connotes a group or population of cultivated plants. Fourth is the crop science. So, it is concerned with the observation and classification of knowledge concerning economically cultivated crops and the establishment of verified principles regarding their growth and development for the purpose of deriving the optimum benefit from them. So, crop science is the plants grow from, uh, from the growth stage, from the vegetative stage to the reproductive stage until you harvest and make market and then make uh, a secondary activity which is uh, making another product from it. So we have to uh, deriving the benefits from them. So first is the agronomy. So deals it deals with the principles and practices of managing field crops and the soils. So it includes the crops that uh, belongs to the agronomy sector, which is peanuts, the pastures, the rice, sorghum, cotton, spring wheat, winter wheat, the wheat, the barley, the oats, the corn, and millet, diba? adlai is included in the agronomy sector but then some of the books includes uh, it includes uh, some horticultural plants which is introduced to them as plantation crops so it belongs to agronomical area second is the horticulture it deals with gardens and plants within an enclosure so it includes pomology so is the pomology is the study of the fruits so it deals with the fruits a different type of fruits is under the horticulture second is the olericulture deals with vegetables or the study of vegetables so different types and kinds of vegetables is under horticulture then the floriculture deals with flowers or the study of the flowers and ornamentals, not only flowering flowers, but then ornamentals that are plants that do not uh, make flowers. Then the nursery management and the landscape gardening. It is under the horticulture. So horticulture includes these major parts, which is the five major, the pomology, olericulture, floriculture, the nursery management, and the landscape Gardening, so they have uh, basically um, five majors in under horticulture. Will be the crop production as a science, art, and business. Its a science is derived from the adoption or application of the basic sciences of chemistry, mathematics, physics and from various applied science like physiology which is the branch of biology that deals with the normal functions of living organisms and their parts while meteorology is the branch of science concerned with the processes and phenomena of the atmosphere especially as a means of forecasting the weather well anatomy in plants is a general term for the study of the internal structure of the plants and plant breeding is the science of changing the traits of plants in order to produce desired characteristics and has been used to improve the quality of nutrition in products for humans and animals so the goals of plant breeding are to produce crop varieties that boost unique and superior traits for a variety of agriculture agricultural applications so it requires skills to produce crops even with little or no scientific training and plants are not grown simply to satisfy the needs of man but to realize some profit in the process of production so agricultural research in the philippines has been established 
curial schools and research centers, so in both private and public sector. So these are, first, the state colleges and universities offering degrees in agriculture. Second is the Department of Agriculture Research Networks. And third is the National Commodity Research Centers, which includes the FILFIDA or the Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority, the NTA, the National Tobacco Administration, the Phil Rice, which is the Philippine Rice Research Institute, and the PCA, Philippine Coconut Authority. Under, again, for the National Commodity Research Centers here in the Philippines, includes Sugar Regulatory Administration, or the SRA, the Phil Root Crops, or the PRCRTC, which is the Philippine Root Crop Research and Training Center. Next is NPRCRTC, which is the Northern Philippines Root Crops Research and Training Center, and the NARC, which is the National Abacar Research Center. And fourth, our specialized discipline-oriented research centers includes the Institute of Plant Breeding, which is the ITB, the National Crop Protection Center, located in Beauty, Los Banos, or the NCTC. Next is the PH, PRC, or the Post-Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center. Fourth is the NPGRL which is the National Plant Genetic Resources Laboratory. And last is the National Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, which is uh, known as the Biotech. For the private seed companies, it includes East West Seed Company, the Monsanto and Bayer, the Syngenta, and Pioneer. For the major international research organization mandated that the research and development in crops species is important to food and agriculture includes the following. First is the IRI or the International Rice Research Institute which is located in the Philippines. The Centro International de Patatas as the CIP located in the Peru the ICRISAT, or the International Crop Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics, which can be seen in India. And the CIMMYT, or the International Maize and Weight Improvement Center, found in Mexico. And the CIAT, which is the Centro International de Agricultura Tropical, which is Another term for International Center for Tropical Agriculture found in Colombia. For, and for the another major international research organization mandated that the research and development in crop species important to food and agriculture includes the following. Again, the ICARDA, the International Center for Agricultural Research in the Dry Areas found in Syria, established in Syria, the IITA, which is the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, or the Nigeria, found in the Nigeria, and next is the AVRDC, which is the Asian Vegetable Research and Development Center, established in Taiwan. Next is the ICRA the International Center for Research on Agroforestry, established in Kenya, and last is the Biodiversity International for International Plant Genetic Resources Institute, established in Italy. And that's all for the Unit 1. Thank you for listening.